see back in the gun. And I've come to realize that it's two wars that we have to fight and we must continue to fight. The first war is a spiritual war where it talks about in the Word of God that the justice system is perverted and the judges do get wrong. And it's so true that that continues on today. And the physical battle that we have to face in realizing and understanding that scripture is that we have to come together and unite and fight for justice and let the justice system know that we are not going to take the injustices that is done to our children, black and brown. Wow, what if I would have just said drive? 
But I instructed him to take part. And he said, Mom, I want to take part just for you. And never did I expect to get a call, but I got that call. And in the midst of that, God has been comforting me and letting me know that I can still fight for what's right. And my son didn't deserve to die. Alan Bluford's son, they didn't, he didn't deserve to die. And we're going to fight till the end. We're, we know that we can fight two ways. We're going to fight on our knees through prayer and fasting. And we're going to fight through the streets by saying, we're not going to take it anymore. Because the lessons learned, I mean, Tim Kelly was honest. 
it. It may take some women from being broke. It may take some power to get set on fire. It may take some of us to go to the DL office and stop building. It will take us going out these streets and continuing to protest. It will take us, like Chip Killers did, making a sacrifice. Man, we love you for that. Because just like that said, you don't know what's going to my heart. I could have killed that man. I'm not going to say, you know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say it. That's how I feel. But it's going to take consistency. All of you here cannot disappear on us. You cannot disappear on this family. They need you. Pray for them, support them, because we know that you stood with us, you cried with us, you went back and forth to court with us, you utilized your First Amendment right, you spoke to the injustice for us, you were there with us all the way, and we were able to get the first time in history an officer to go to jail and go to prison. But if we continue this, like Clarence Thomas has said, what Angela Davis is going to lay down, what my brother Fred Hampton is going to share, if we continue this, we will make a change. I swear, 
we will be where we are, where we will be where we are today without the community, students, and the youth. I swear to God, thank you for everything that comes up.
Wilfred, I also think about Bobby.